Wow, this was useless. Ugh, ouch. Have you ever wondered, wow, how do I make useful code? Well, I'm glad you asked because I will show you. If you look closely, it writes IDFK, right? Well, what does that stand for? Now, although I do not know how, I do know where to start. It's called the command prompt or terminal for Mac users. I'm going to do a bit of research on it now and I'll let you know as soon as I find out everything about it. I'm a loser. <laughs> It's been three weeks. Some word of advice, don't do software engineering. The assignments are way too hard. I have severe depression. Did I learn? The term shell refers to the language the terminal uses. For example, bash is a shell used in Linux and Mac OS. Command prompt is an MS-DOS emulator, which basically means it acts like MS-DOS. MS-DOS was the previous uh, operating system for Windows before the currently used GUI, graphical user interface, uh, superseded it. PowerShell is basically command prompt, but it's much better because it is built on top of the .NET common language runtime. Whatever that means. Commands in PowerShell are called commandlets or CMDlets. Control C stops whatever is running. Commands are written as action dash object, such as get dash help. Commands also have abbreviations, also more commonly known as aliases, such as DIR, which is actually short for get dash child item. Typing CLS and running it uh, in PowerShell causes everything you've written before, all the commands you've run before, to disappear and give you a clean page. CD stands for change directory. We'll be using that quite a lot. Uh, if, because we're going to want to run some programs and we have to find them through the directories. Now let's see how we can use GitHub and steal code and then run it using PowerShell. Alright, so I basically downloaded the YouTube downloader everything in it I made a file named Bob just because and the YouTube download is here so we need to access this and we need to execute it using PowerShell how, we, how do we do that we write CD all right so what do we do when we're inside of Bob okay there's other stuff we have to do I already done this before just to test it dot backslash YouTube bash DL and then let's just open up another video. Okay, so this is the video we want. We just copy and paste the link onto PowerShell. Enter. There we go. Now, inside of Bob, we've got the video. <laughs> yes. It's made me realize, no, 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 no. Mate, no one cares. <laughs> All right, guys. PowerShell is pretty cool and all right. We could do really cool stuff, but it can get really complicated if we want more demanding tasks. 
So I was thinking, what can we do with programming language, simple programming language, such as Python? So I recently watched a video from this YouTuber um, called Super Quick Python Automation Ideas. And it's pretty good video, not gonna lie. It talks about how you could automate anything in your computer. For example, putting files into a different folder and renaming them you know, in, into like a, in a way that you understand, a more organized way just by pressing run on the Python program you've just written. Uh, I wanna do this. I wanna make this myself. All right, so I've done quite a bit of research. Let me show you what I've done. All right, so OS. OS is like the main package we're gonna be importing. Basically, what we need to know is os.makeDoers makes this entire directory. Renaming, this is important. I'll get back to that as well. Uh, this one's also pretty important. Basically, we name a new variable by joining one part of a directory all the way until which wherever this is. And you can do that using os.path.join and it will join according to which OS you're using. Mac OS, Windows, Linux. Now, this is what I did. I made a variable called desktop, that's the entire directory, file path, the path to a new folder. I'm gonna create this new folder by using os.makedirs, directories, and then I'm gonna do os.rename, I'm gonna get the file path, which we're gonna change this, we're gonna rename this file path, onto this new file path. Alright, so let's test it, let's see if it works, Control F5. You should create a new folder. Testing old folder. Now it waits five seconds. Deletes that and creates a testing new folder. That's mad. No, that's not what I actually wanted to do. This is just for testing it to see if it works and it does work. What I want to do is, hold on, let me get it. I created like a download section, right? Basically, imagine this is my downloads and then there's text.txt, there's plain.txt, there's hello.java what I want to do is I want to read that txt part right and then create a new fo folder and then send all of the txt files into this folder another one called java folder and send all the java ones here and so on and I want to pretty much separate it and put all the downloads into their own respective folders. So that's what we're going to try to do. Hope it works. <laughs> it's done. I did the thing. I got a source path. Basically, I made a test folder inside of desktop and I made that test folder into a list. All the files inside of test folder, they are in a list over here called list files. And I made a destination path called test folder destination. Which, which is here, and I'm gonna put all the files that end with PNG or .jpg. Basically the destination file. Control F5. <laughs> yes, and the destination, bam, there they are. Okay, so that works, right? Now I also did this right after. Peggy 18. Sorry for the spaghetti code. So now we go to the download. We create a list from downloads and then from the test folder, we make a path to my images, my images path, my Java path, and so on. In these folders, we want to add their respective files. I haven't tested this yet. So it's going to be a bit, how you going? My downloads, right? I have a lot of stuff here. Ah, uh, I don't know if this is going to work. All right, so I created all the folders inside of test folder. <sighs> okay, <laughs> this is intense. Okay, here we go. Control F5. Uh, come on. What? The system cannot find the path specified. Oh, man. <laughs> Here we go. Whoa. That was quick. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Okay. <laughs> Here it goes. 
Oh, it, it actually worked. What? This is so good. That's what you call useful code. Subscribe or else I'll hack into your computer and delete all your files.